All right, tech fans, so I know this question keeps getting asked over and over again, and I wanted to wait till actually the latest drivers came out for the 1080 and 1070 before we actually really compare it to anything because we all know when the cards first come out, the drivers they have are like basically like newborn children. They need to grow. And since this is a brand new chipset and everything for NVIDIA, with new drivers, you're just going to see the 1070 and 1080. They're just going to keep getting a little faster. The 980 Ti, however, though, since it's last generation technology, you know it's pretty much hit a wall with all the drivers. They've taken that card almost as far as it goes. You may see a frame or two here or there, but nothing significant. So everybody's asking, right now, I have a 980 Ti. Should I upgrade to a 1070 or should I upgrade to a 1080? Well, today's video lets you see the actual score so you can know what the actual real value difference is between that card and the two new cards are. So let's first check out the test system, check out those scores, and let's see at the end whether it's worth it for you to upgrade your card. So all right, there's the test system, which by the way, we will be upgrading to an i7-6700K very soon, but now it's time to rock and check out those benchmarks. Let's go. Okay, folks, so there you have it. You can see that right now with what's going on, there's not very much difference between the 1070 and 980 Ti. Now, obviously, as more drivers come out, you're gonna see the 1070 begin to you know, get farther and farther away from that. But at this time point, I think that if you have a 980 Ti, you should probably just chill out for the moment and keep your card. I don't think there's any really a reason right now for you to go out and sell your cards and stuff, unless you're totally trying to do 1440 and giant monitors, or you're trying to do 4K. Now with the 1080, if you're really looking for the ultimate performance, you can see there's quite a bit of difference. Almost 20% difference between the 980, 1080, the, excuse me there, between the 980 Ti and the 1080. There's almost, you know, 16 to 18% seems to be about the average, but sometimes up to 20%. So that's a really good margin with that card. So if you honestly just have to have the absolute fastest and best of the best, then the 1080 is gonna be what you wanna get. Also, you guys keep asking me, when is the 1080 Ti going to come out? I mean, I'd imagine that it's probably gonna come out near the end of the year. Um, NVIDIA is gonna to wanna to milk this card for a while, and until AMD comes up with something that's truly competitive, why would they release a card to beat this card? It just doesn't make any financial you know, sense for them whatsoever. So you'll be waiting a while to see a Ti. So at the end of the day, there you guys have it about a you know, 16 to 19% difference with the 1080, maybe a five, maybe 6% difference if you upgraded to a 1070 from the 980 Ti. But hey, 980 Ti is still kicking ass. The only thing is though, like I said, it's hit a wall pretty much as far as drivers go. And there may be a few little inches out here where the drivers update a game per se here and there. 
But at the end of the day, obviously, if you want the fast of the fast, right now, the 1080 is still the king of the ring and possibly what you might want to upgrade if you're that type of person. So I'm Elric. More information about these cards down below. Plus, we have lots of other non-Founders Edition cards coming in. You guys saw the unboxing of the Gigabyte G1 Gaming. We've got that. We also have a card from EVGA, the FTW version. I know it's not what I used to think FTW means, but it's for the win. So I'm Elric. Been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We'll see you guys back here on the channel.